Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're diving into a huge challenge facing pretty much every business leader. How do you get a handle on all the random AI experiments popping up everywhere and turn that chaos into a real strategy? We're talking about building one single secure AI platform for your whole company. So let's kick things off with a question that's probably keeping you up at night. With all these new generative AI tools spreading like wildfire, your employees are just grabbing them and running. And that creates this huge blind spot for security, for data privacy, for governance. That's what we call shadow AI. And it might be a bigger deal than you think. And what you end up with is this chaotic wild west, right? You've got all these unvetted tools messing with your sensitive information, data's flying out the door, and you're left with this quilts of random solutions that have no way of talking to each other. Honestly, this fragmentation, it's the number one thing stopping companies from actually getting real value out of AI. All right, so the only way out of this mess is to stop grabbing at all these shiny piecemeal tools and start thinking about a truly unified platform. And that's exactly what we're gonna unpack today. Google's answer to this chaos, which is called Gemini Enterprise. Think of it as the new secure front door for all things AI at your company. So what is Gemini Enterprise, really? Well, at its core, it's something called an agentic platform. That's a bit of a mouthful, but here's a simple way to think about it. It's like a central nervous system for all the AI in your company. It's one place where you can manage all these AI assistants or agents that are designed to automate super complex workflows for everyone on your team. And you know, this quote from Thomas Kurian, the CEO of Google Cloud, just hits the nail on the head. He says, some companies offer AI models and toolkits, but they are handing you the pieces, not the platform. You cannot piece together transformation. The whole point is, you can't just get a box of parts and expect to build a revolutionary car. You need the whole chassis, the engine, everything working together. That's the platform idea. Okay, so how does it actually do it? How does it tame all that chaos? Well, the whole strategy really comes down to a three-pillar approach. And these pillars are really straightforward. They're designed to tackle the biggest headaches. First, you gotta connect the AI to your own company's data so it knows what's actually going on. Then, you empower everyone to create and use these AI agents. And finally, and this is huge, you get to govern the whole thing with total confidence. All right, let's dig into that first pillar, grounding. I mean, think about it. An AI agent that doesn't understand your business is like a new hire on their first day with zero training. It's useless. So step one is all about securely connecting Gemini Enterprise to your company's data, no matter where it is, so these agents actually have the context they need to be helpful. And this, this is where it gets really powerful. This is not some walled garden where you're locked into only Google stuff. Look at this list. It breaks down those silos by plugging directly into Microsoft 365, Salesforce, Jira, basically all the tools your teams are already living in day in and day out. What this unlocks is a feature called Blended Search, and it is a total game changer. Imagine one of your employees can just ask a single question in one spot and get an answer that pulls from a doc in SharePoint, a ticket in Jira, and an email in Outlook all at the same time. And crucially, it's permission aware, so people only see what they're supposed to see. We're talking about a huge leap in productivity here. Okay, so once everything's connected and the AI has its feet on the ground, we move to the second pillar. And this is all about empowering your people giving them their own AI task force to get work done. Now, what's great is that this isn't a one-size-fits-all kind of deal. You've got three main ways to get these agents working for you. You can use the ready-to-go ones made by Google, you can let your own teams build custom ones, or you can tap into a whole marketplace of specialized agents made by partners. So you get value right out of the gate on day one with these pre-built agents from Google. Take the deep research agent, for example. You can give it a single prompt and it will go out, pull together information from all your internal docs and the public web and create a comprehensive report. That's a task that could normally take a team weeks of manual work, just done. And this is absolutely key for scaling this across your whole company. Anyone can build an agent. Your marketing manager, who has never written the line of code, can use the no-code agent designer to create a little AI helper that automates her weekly reports. Meanwhile, your hardcore developers can jump into the full agent development kit and build really sophisticated custom agents for the super complex stuff. Okay, but let's be real. The big question every executive is asking is, this all sounds great, but how on earth do I control it? And that brings us to our third pillar, which, frankly, might be the most important one for any leader, governance. The answer is a single command center. 
Gemini Enterprise gives your IT and security folks one place to go to see, secure, audit, and govern every single agent running in the company. It doesn't matter if it was built by Google, by your marketing team, or by a partner. It's all managed right there. And this slide, this is where we get into the nitty gritty of your biggest security worries. The number one rule here is simple. It's your data, not Google's. Full stop. You can bring your own encryption keys. You can use VPC controls to lock down your data and make sure it doesn't go anywhere it shouldn't. And look, with support for major standards like HIPAA and FedRAMP, you can actually scale this stuff without your compliance team having a heart attack. So that's the how, but what about the payoff? What does this actually look like when it's up and running? Let's take a look at how this can totally transform the way different teams get their work done. Take marketing, for example. Instead of being reactive, they can become truly proactive. Imagine being able to analyze global market trends in an instant or automatically generating performance reports that pull data from every single channel. Suddenly, your team has a real-time, unified view of what's working and what's not. Or what about your sales team? We all know how much time they waste on administrative busywork. Well, now you can have agents that automatically dig up deep intelligence on accounts or run complex deal forecasts. This frees up your reps to do what you actually pay them to do, build relationships and sell. And this wave of efficiency just keeps rolling through the whole business. Your engineering teams can code faster and clean up technical debt. Your finance department can automate painful processes like global consolidations, all while staying perfectly in line with all those tough governance and compliance rules. So the big takeaway here really is that we're talking about building a strategic foundation for the future of your business. This isn't just about plugging in another tool. It's really designed to be the complete AI fabric for your business, and it's built on this principle of openness. With a huge ecosystem of partners behind it, you get to choose the best tools and innovate across your entire tech stack. You're not getting locked into one vendor's little world. And that leaves us with one final big question to think about. AI is becoming just as fundamental to business as the internet was two decades ago. So the question for you as a leader isn't if you're going to use AI, it's how. Are you going to keep trying to stitch together a bunch of random pieces? Or are you going to intentionally weave a strong, unified strategic platform? Who is weaving your company's AI fabric?